Hi, everyone. I was a little nervous that I wasn't on, but I think I am on. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Becky Pelote. I'm a Creative Memories Advisor, um, and I live in Newport News, Virginia. Um, today, I'm going to show you a really fast idea, and you really don't need much of anything to do it, probably your trimmer. Um, so you can use any paper line, but I'm going to be showing um, a page layout idea with Welcome Baby, also a National Scrapbook idea idea. Um, with the same technique for those of you out there that are advisors or for those of you that are contemplating getting the NSD line, which is super gorgeous. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, we have a lot of things going on, and um, one of these is really time comprehensive. So if you're watching this right now, <laughs> you might be able to take advantage of it. Let's go ahead and change my screen. Thank you for tuning in for those of you that watch me all the time. So um, today, I uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. These are going to be gone. And I mentioned that because I think they're really pretty. Um, they're, they're all kinds of different flowers. You don't have to order all six packs. Um, you can order any six packs. Like I could order three of these and three of these, whatever your favorite colors are. If you order six, you get this, which is um, a limited edition. You can't buy it. So it's a limited edition collection um, that has some oversized um, sticker Icons and some sandals. So these are super pretty. And you get those for free when you order any six of these flowers. And I'm thinking with spring and summer on its way, and even um, you know, we could use some of these colors in the fall. I think that this is something that we may want to have. We've we've had these in before, but in different styles. Um, these have a lot of texture in them. And um you can do layering, you can do, you know, add leaves to them. Is that pretty? You can layer them to get different looks. That's too big for that. Maybe we'll do this one. That. Anyways, I think they're super pretty. Mix and match the colors. These are going to add great decorations to your pages. And they also come with the bling for my blingers um, also. So anyways, wanted to make that very aware that this ends today. Today is Tuesday. Wow. It will end at 1 p.m. unless they extend it. And so if you want even one pack of these, it, you all order them right away. If you're one of my clients, let me know. And um, I'll try to scoot an order in uh, before, before that time. Get them. Yeah. All right. So my dogs are barking. I mean, I just can't win. <laughs> I thought I even left the door open so that they could get in and out. We do have a fence line they can that for. Um, let me see a second because they're so noisy. I know that you might not be able to hear them, but I can't concentrate. All right, so back to the drawing board. Sorry about that. I know that drives some of you crazy. All right, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through and show you some of the things that are coming out. This is called Welcome Baby Paper Album. And the reason I'm opening it is because it says Welcome Baby. <laughs> um, whenever I see something that says, you know, something very specific like baby, my first thought is, is it, is it, can this be used for something other than baby? <laughs> so I'm gonna let you answer that question. For those of you that are live right now, go ahead and comment whether you think this can be used for anything other than baby, all right? Because I didn't want you to think you couldn't because there is not one thing in here that screams baby to me other than it matches perfectly our baby stickers and embellishments, okay? So please keep that in mind with any of our stuff that a lot of times they'll say one thing but being can be, you know, if you like the color scheme, which this is the color scheme, um, you can use it for whatever you want. All right. And and people that a lot of my customers are using these little paper albums as kind of like pre fast, you know, pre wallpaper for their little book. So they get a book of this size, they create these little books with their pictures, and then they um either slap them on the pages or drop them into pockets. Um, so anyways, great, great product. And these come in all kinds of different um, styles and colors. All right, this is a new eight by eight. We don't come out with these designer covers all year long. We have them um, 
a couple of times a year. And so this is what's out right now. This one is called a uh, lattice. It's $25. Um, this one also super pretty. It's called leaves. And then we have two other colors, Clementine and a beautiful cashmere blue in the plain cupboard. Um, I think they're around 20. All right. So I wanted to let you know about that. Um, this one, um, you can get these, these, this is a hyacinth, really pretty. It's not showing as pretty as it is. Um, and it has fast to fab pages in it already for a baby's first year. So you can get these in three colors. Um, slate is one of the colors. And there's one more color that I'm not sure of, but you can see them online. They come in a bundle. It's a fast to fab eight by eight bundle. It comes with some stickers, some scissors, some pop-up squares, some other things. Very fast solution for for a new mom or a new puppy or something like that. Another thing, um, not in the welcome home line, this is the simple kit for, for April. And it is um, for Easter or spring. But I love, um, we've got uh, the word Easter there and like it's got little dots on the letters. Reminds me of Easter eggs and um, some little icons there. Um, and anyways, uh, these will help you make a double page spread sort of like this. Uh, so if um, for my my clients, we will be doing a simple um, simple page class in April. I think April 20th, if you're interested in coming and bringing a friend. All right. So I wanted to show you this. Um, a lot of you don't realize we have boxed al albums. We came out with a boxed album line um, for gifts. All right. You, you want to be able to have a nice box to ship or to wrap uh, for a gift. So so these um, this is um, an eighty two fifty um, purchase, but it's a great gift for a new mom. This is in the uh, the purpley color with the little geese and ducks on the front. Is that the cutest ever? And then in the bottom of the box, um, if you, you know, pull up the ribbon, which I should have just pulled up the ribbon to get that album out, comes with the matching embellishments, a pen and a tape runner. So it is just the perfect little gift for a brand new mom. It's, it's a wow shower gift. Um, and it comes in the purple and it also comes in the blue. So if this had been a boxed album with the blue, um, it would have looked like this with the blue embellishments. All right. But I want to show you what the Fast and Fat pages look like in both books. All right. So it is the same in both books. And again, um, these pages are sold separately. And they have nothing to do with baby. <laughs> so if you want to do a fast to fab book, I know a lot of you love this for doing quick, quick styles. The price point is $3 more than a plain white or Spargo or black pages. But if you even use a few of these pre-decorated bottoms, you're going to come ahead. Um, it's cheaper and faster to knock out albums like this. I had a, had a newer um, client to our fold that came to my last crop and finished an almost two albums this way. And she was super pleased. Um, and when I say album, she did more than one set of pages in them, but she used the style and she was just as tickled as she could be. Um, so anyways, they're super pretty. Not anything in here about baby. What, when they put the word baby on something, it's because the embellishments, the stickers, the mats, they're going to coordinate with these colors. So um, it'll make it perfect for them. All right. Pretty. I hope you like it. I love it. All right. Um, if you don't like the little geese, you can pick a plain cover. You can pick uh, whatever color is your favorite color for your nursery or whatever, if you're doing specifically baby. I happen to love this wedding album for a baby book. I just love, 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 love this one. So another option for a baby book. And also the pages in this wedding one are perfect for if you want blues for your baby. All right. In the in the fast of fab, that is. All right. So let's talk about those of you that like the tactile and want all the stuff. Um, we do have cards again. Um, the little card trio. Uh, what is a little unique about this is they do come with uh, colored envelopes that match. 
Um, they, as always, come with the cardstock. They come the cardstock to build on and all of the embellishments. Um, I like these for cards, but I also like them for my scrapbooks, as you all know. And I, I'm going to show you how we're going to incorporate this one today in there. But they come with a little idea sheet. You don't have to have your ideas. They even tell you which piece goes down where. This is the second card and it goes down second because do A would go down first. And um, the card stock, if you're going to use your card in your book, you can cut this in half and use this as mats for your pages. All right. I want to tell you that. All right. So what comes in, in the rest of the line? Well, I am putting this in a power project folder. Um, it holds a ton. And this line is so robust. I thought it was a perfect example to remind you about that again. Um, if you got the entire line, there are two two packs of embellishments, the purple and the blue. Um, and so you can pick whichever one works for you or add both because I think they're they're very soft and I think they're going to look great in a boy or a girl album. Um, they also come with a pack of mats. They also come, by the way, my little nerdy friend who is so organized, she cuts her little flyers from her um, from her paper packs, cuts them and slides them in so that the writing will look perfect. And I actually kind of like that idea. So call me nerdy today. All right. And then in, let's see what else we have. Stickers. It comes with a sticker pack. So for the, for the different months and also the sayings and also your, your um, uh, designer border stickers. And then this line, it has a pack that really matches um, all of all of everything um, and the teals and the yellows. All right. You know what I did? Actually, let me show this first. This is um, this is the extra large die cuts. Um, they're they're double sided. If you like this concept, in other words, you just throw some pictures behind them. And so it makes it really super fast to do a page. Um, um, one side is a neutral tone like this. The other side, and what I also love are these little bubbles that you can journal in. You can see that or not. All right. And then the other side actually has, um, let's do it this way, one month, two months, three months, all the way up to 12 months. Perfect for a little baby album. Um, if you weren't doing a baby album, you definitely could just cover that up with, um, with an embellishment or something. Okay. I really like these. Ready. Next, made a little messy here. I put my power, um, my power sleeve upside down. And when you do that, things will fall out. So it's a great reminder to me to pay a little better attention, which I never do, as you know. Let's put that right. Okay, so um this line does have have um several paper packs to pick from. I on purpose want to what I did actually, I don't know if y'all have uh, experienced the power simple pockets. The simple pockets hold um also hold our stuff. You can put probably 15, 20 sheets in these, but I am using them inside this to separate the three colors that we have in this line. So my nerdy friend also told me that, and I think it's genius because I tend to just kind of mix them up. Can you imagine me mixing things up? What a shocker, right? That's where I cut out that Welcome Baby, by the way. All right, so this is the one that actually comes with Wel Welcome Baby. Um, it's the one that matches everything, the teals and the yellows. Um, but for people that want it more specific, so blues or purples, we have additions. These are only $5 a pack. So you can kind of all mix them together for sure. Um, and what I wanted to show you about the blues and the purples, they're almost identical except for the base color that it can be used for anything. All right. So I wanted to show you this is not specific to baby. It's just real pretty. I don't know if you can see the print on there or not. Just, oh, there's that ombre. Great for Easter. Um, this looks like little mini rainbows, kind of. I'm not digging my lighting today. I'm sorry. All right. So anyways, the purple and the blue, exact same pattern. So you could put a purple and a blue stripe side by side to get a really cool look blending two different colors because they match, match, match. All right. So not specific to baby at all. So if you like blue, if you like purple, um, same thing. Um, the uh, 
the teal pack, let's look at that because I didn't look at that that closely. And I want to make sure I'm telling you the truth that this also is crazy versatile. Um, just opened it. All right, so this one is a wood grain on one side and little bunnies, so that would be a nice Easter page. This one is just teal with little, um, I don't know, little icons on it. Definitely nothing baby. This is a stripe, so that definitely can be used for anything. And then this one is also a little boulder stripe and a gingham. That can be used for anything. This is a uh, check. And what does it say? These are little, uh, look like Scrabble tiles on this side. So that might be more um, baby or preschool or Scrabble fanatic. <laughs> this one really pretty with just some leaves. This looks like just springy to me with some pretty yellow flowers. This one has a white with a little gray, a pattern on it and um, some geese. All right, so this could be a day at the lake. Um, or whatever. So anyways, I just, I, I hate it that we, um, we, we do put names on them because we need to. Um, but sometimes people miss out on really pretty products because they think that it's only designed for one thing. So hopefully you got that point and we're going to make a page now. Okay. So let me get this stuff out of the way. And you're not going to believe this, but now I feel like I need to open the door to let my dogs back in because they are barking. So please don't give up on me. Thank you for being patient. All right, now it's crap. They can come in and out if they choose. All right, so um, let's go ahead and make a page. All right, so I selected this piece of paper to do this with, I love it. And I am gonna grab my trimmer and I am gonna cut, let's do, um, I think I'm gonna do a five inch cut or maybe even five and a quarter, doesn't matter too much, all right? And then I'm gonna do um, a six. I didn't really want them to be square. All right, so because the dimensions don't match, these are more rectangular than squares. And I'm gonna do that one more time, five and a quarter. And a couple of sixes. All right, I'm gonna fold those together. Flowers both going up, just so that we can fold those together. And then I'm gonna cut on a diagonal. All right, so I'm just gonna, this is a really simple technique, guys. So I'm gonna put uh, this top corner in the track. I'm gonna put the bottom corner in the track. I am cutting through four pieces of paper. Um, if you um, are unsure how, how well you've lined up, pull your little thingies here to make sure they are exactly cutting where you want since we're doing all four at a time. And don't forget to put down quite a bit of pressure for four um, and, and pull it away before you walk away from it to make sure it actually cut. So that's gonna be crazy simple to do, right? Um, and next, I am going to grab um, some face paper that I think will look great with this. This canary is pretty. All right, and next thing I wanna do, I wanna use our new border maker cartridge. Um, have you all gotten this yet, this, this little handy dandy guy? Um, this is to organize our border maker cartridges and it has two layers. Okay. So it has two layers for you to store them in. And I dig this plot. It keeps me organized. It has a place for the tools itself, which we're going to grab for now. Um, and I do want the new one, the teddy bear is what we're going to use today. This is a great little organizer. It comes with the trays in it for just $39.50. So that's a great value to store all your stuff. 
All right, and we're going to pop this in. All right, I'm going to do this slowly today because I've had a rash of people lately that have not been getting our cartridges because they don't know how to use this tool. They think it's scary, and it's not at all. So Sharon, I hope you're watching me out there today. I'm going to open up the ledge. It folds nicely on the bottom, and I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to grab, because I'm doing teddy bears, I want it to be chocolate. And I am going to put that um, in the tray. Actually, this is fudge. I was thinking in the right family, just the, said the wrong color. So I'm putting it so that it's all the way to the edge of the tray. But now I don't need the tray anymore. That's to make sure the proper amount of paper is sticking out. So now fold the tray back. All right. Now we have the this end. If you have an end, you should see the cartridge on this side. And these little notches, these little notches fit in these notches underneath. All right. If you, you can't see them, of course, but what you can see are these little notches that stick out here and the matching little notch that sticks out here. Let's see if I can get it over the dark sticks out there. So those notches match. So it's very easy without looking underneath to know where you're going. And it's a very fast process. All right, I need two of those, one for each side. So I'm going to do it one more time. So open the tray, put the paper in, put down the magnetic strip, fold the tray back, line up the dots on the this on the housing with the ruler, and you can even close your eyes because when it fits in the spot, you know it. It slides and goes meow, goes right in slide and it goes, it just pokes right in, all right? So you can amaze your friends by closing your eyes to do it so easy. All right, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm going to clean up my mess a little bit. I love it, I have this, this trash can right in front of my table and so it's really easy to um get rid of it i'll go ahead and throw some adhesive on this yeah. one. If you're not doing a baby page another border cartridge that falls off your paper um to to, to plop down i'm not going to quite stick it yet because so i want to lay out some things mm -hmm. first to make sure i like it all right so um what i'm going to do is take two of these um, I think I'm going to do this. Okay. What I want to do is be able to see both colors. What? Play with this. I think I'm going to do it like this. So maybe a six by six. I feel like my other one I did rectangular and I really liked it. I think as far as laying it down, if you do a six by six, it'll be easier for you. We're going to do that. All right. And then um should have another set that I hid underneath my little thing. I'm going to put those over on the other side and I think I'm going to reverse the pattern. I'm going to do it more like this. Keep it, keep it kind of at the top. Okay, and I think, I think I, I like this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start sticking because now I have it kind of where I want. I'm gonna grab my repo. Somebody said that they didn't really know what these little silicone mats were for, and this is what they're for. It's so that when you use your adhesive, you don't get it all over your mat. My mats tend to be pretty messy because sometimes I forget to pull it out, um, but it really does help present. I hope it looks like um, grape stuff. Let's try this again. You just do it really fast on your silicone mat this over 
my pages are lined up. Make sure that they're fitting into the thing. Kind of being haphazard today, but if you want these to match up, it's really kind of important that your papers are matching up. So I'm just, I'm just so done with these little dogs that I adore. All right, so I apologize. I just can't make them be quiet. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna do that. Let's stick this down too. Uh, I think I kind of want it to go towards the top. Again, I'm maximizing workspace by putting it um, high. And I'm going to do this, doing this the other way with this one. Um, I think I'm going to put that right up against the top this time. I um, did read something that miniature dachshunds are uh, yakkers. And what they also are is loyal. Like they like to just stay right on your hip. Like they want to follow you around. And so I really, they, they, they follow me around. It just made so much more sense. <laughs> they follow me around. All right. <laughs> so. All right, let's see here. So we are doing, I think I'm, oh, again, I'm looking for a look. And so I want to actually put this down first on it before I stick it down so that I can provide that little gap there. Oh, oh yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. Oh, I thought I made a mistake. All right, so we're going to do it. So it's the same on both sides. All right, so there we go. There we go. All right, so then um, I grabbed some mats from the mat pack that kind of blend these colors together. I picked two different colors, and I am going to throw those here. Isn't that cute? Oh, I like that too. Does that one look like? No. Nope, we're going to go with what I initially thought. We'll put that there. So these I just pulled from the mat pack, so it just makes it faster, right? All right, and then I think I'm just going um, to add, I think I'm going to use this piece of scrap that came from, it's the liner that came from the paper pack, which is totally 100% photo safe. Let's cut, um, I don't know. Maybe, what did I do on this other one? Probably a four by four, a couple of four by fours. So I know that sometimes you all want something that's just really cool, but I know some, some of you really like something that's just really kind of easy. And this one I thought was just kind of easy. It's a really attractive page and, um, and so I knew that you could finish it really quickly. Let's also cut maybe um, a couple of three and a half by fives. Well, how about three and three quarters? Three and three quarters by five and a quarter. Do two of those. Doesn't matter because we don't have photos for this yet. Just kind of giving you a vision of what you can do with it, right? So we'll put those there. All right, and now we can play with the, in fact, I really like this. I'm going to go ahead and stick these down. So photo safe paper and the liners in your packs, they do have stuff on the back, but once you stick them down, they are invisible. You don't see through them, and especially once you put your photos on. I'm going to put these back lined up so that I can watch them space them better. All right, so... All right, so that takes care of that. Let's see what else we might have. Um, I feel like we could do something really cute with the embellishment here. Um, I was gonna show you this, um, but I probably in this case now, I didn't make room for it, but could have put it here. I had one oversized embellishment on the page. All right, so I just want to show you how cute that would look on here and how matchy, matchy it is. Um, also, um, I'm going to scrap some other embellishments that we could use. 
and where I might put them. Probably would throw something up here. You know, um, I would probably grab my pop-up squares and pop. If you haven't seen pop-up squares, they're super cute. Probably do it right there. Let's go ahead and pop it. Let's go oh, crazy. Actually, let me see if there's a sticker on that. Tiny miracle is what that says. Um, what did I do with my folder here? Let's... All right, so. Probably, um, we made a wish and it came true. I like, I like that a lot. I'm going to throw, yeah. throw um, some little squares on that. Again, if you're at home, the idea is not to pop by exact embellishments. The idea, if you have this, yes, <laughs> that'll make a really fast page if you have exactly what I have. Um, but if you have something different, you can do the same skill. Change your border maker. Change your... Um, paper colors, your base colors, or embellishments, but you can still do the same cuts, same skill, um, skills using the stuff that you have at home. Okay, I, I like it. That's pretty. Do I want it? Yeah, I just, let's, let's. All right. Simple, crazy, easy page, right? Here we get. All right, so let's look at another one that I made with the exact same skill. I have a shadow for my trimmer. Let's get that out of the way. All right. Um, so I made this one. So I, I did the triangles a little different. Um, what did I do? So I put them on the side and on the bottom all the time. All right. I, I used the bamboo punch here. With this is National Scrapbook Day. So this paper came from NSD for this year. Pretty. And I love punching uh, out of this print, the bamboo, because it has texture, doesn't it? Doesn't that make it look real? All right. So I love that. And then on this side, I use some of the uh, layered, embell a layered embellishment. I think this might come in a pack that you can get when you buy the bundle. And then um, this, this little pair that I also popped to give it some texture. All right. I also made little journal boxes, a journal box using the new, um, they're called Write On Strips, I think. They're $3 for a pack, and they're little sticker strips that you can just cut to size to fit in whatever space that you want. And that's what I did there for my journal box. Is that cool? All right. So, you guys, this has made me totally exhausted because of my dogs. Because they bark the entire time. And I am really sorry. I'm really embarrassed. <laughs> um, and then some of you will say, I could hear them. I know that you don't hear them, but I do. And that's why I keep talking about it. I'm really sorry. And I'm oh, blurry. Don't know why. But anyways, we're going to stop right there. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching me today. If you need an advisor, I would love to help. Um, my, uh, my, my login, um, if you want to, you know, Shop with me is www.creativememories.com forward slash user, U-S-E-R, forward slash, and then my name, B-E-C-K-I-E-B-E-L-O-T-E. -E -E. um, if you have an advisor, they would love for you to shop with them. Thank you for following me. Thanks for um, always tuning in, regardless the 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 circus that lives here. <laughs> Thank you so much and bye.